Hi everyone, Mark from Audio Pursuit. And in this episode, I want to talk to you about the Peachtree Predac and GAN 400 amplifier, a matching pair. Now, I first received these in October of 2021. And I've been hearing about them for a while, but with COVID, everything got delayed. But luckily, uh, I was one of the first reviewers to get a hold of these. And boy, I gotta tell you something. This was a surprise. Now, this should be considered kind of the new generation or a new chapter for Peachtree in their involvement. And the reason for that is, is one, what they did with the amplifier, the GAN 400, but really how they looked at the PREDAC. Now, they have offered uh, a preamplifier before, but really, this is a full-feature preamplifier. And here's why. So let's start off talking about the PREDAC. One, you get two USB inputs, two optical inputs, a coax input. Then in the analog, you get two inputs there. Now, one of them can become an HT bypass, and the auxiliary two, if you hold down the button for several seconds, becomes a phono preamplifier. Now that may sound familiar, that little switching setup, because that's what's in their Nova integrated amps. But there are some differences come along. The DAC has been upgraded. In this unit, they use a ESS Sabre 9000 chipset. And in that chip, they put four DACs for each channel inside of it. The other nice thing about this unit is that they kept it clean. You know, when you come up with a new series, usually um, sometimes they'll change the front and the layout. Well, thankfully, Peachtree decided to stay consistent there. This is an easy to follow front panel. And I want to emphasize that they even have a loop feature on it, which is pretty cool. Now, the other thing I want to talk to you about is their remote. And you know, it, it seems silly. I grew up in the days where audio equipment didn't have them. So to talk about remotes for some of those older guys may seem a little ridiculous, but really in essence, these things become a necessary part of our life. So if you'll take a look at the Peachtree remote, it's laid out very nicely. It's got different sections for it. The top, you have your power button, mute, your volume up, down, and it goes down a little ways and offers some controls for skipping and so forth and then down below then you have your next section which is your sources two rows of sources then down at the bottom some preset buttons nice size you know it's lightweight plastic but it, it, it's a nice size it feels good in the hand and you can easily learn how to operate it without looking at it which is something that i'm really big on the ergonomics of remo remotes once again sounds crazy but i know just a little pet peeve of mine and, of course, like most everybody anymore, Peachtree has included XLR outputs to the amplifier, as well as the standard RCAs. And I would highly recommend that you go with a short XLR, just because you're going to get just a little notch of improvement. And why not? Now for the big change, belongs to the GAN 400 amplifier. It uses GAN FET technology. Now understand, MOSFET has been kind of the standard for decades now. Reliable, solid, you know, it, it does what it needs to do, and that's what you like. But the thing about it is, is with Class D amplification, that switching is so fast that the MOSFET struggles with it. It's not a perfect match. So about seven years ago, Peachtree started looking into 
the idea GANFET, which stands for gallium nitride. Well, over the, that period of time, the engineers worked on it, and they found they can make it work. And the reason why is it goes several times faster than the MOSFET, which fits in perfectly with Class D. Now, there's one key to all that, though. What the engineers found out was in order to make GANFET work really well, you needed truly high-quality power supplies within the amplifier. So you can't go with the cheap off-the-shelf stuff. You have to design something specific. And that's what's important here. And that's what they did. So there's a higher quality involved. And that's why the amplifier is more expensive. Those things cost. But you know what? It's worth it. And we'll talk about that in a bit. Now, the GAN 400 runs at 400 watts per channel into either 8 or 4 ohms. There is no difference. The one thing I can tell you is that the slew rate on the GAN 400 is much lower than the 650 on the Peachtree Amp 500, which is my reference amplifier for high power. So in the end, if you're driving something really difficult, like MagnaPans, you're going you're to lose a little bit of the sheer grunt oomph with the GAM 400 versus like the Peachtree Amp 500. However, if you run that, uh, a standard set of speakers, whether they be a bookshelf or floor standers, you're not going to notice a difference really. I didn't really notice much of any difference between my LSA uh, Signature 80s, my Totem Model 1s, or the Paradigm Prestige 75Fs. So for most everybody, that shouldn't be a concern. Thankfully, Peachtree came up with their oval shape, which is unique and is recognizable as ADCOM's louvers that they started with their series uh, in the 1980s. And I love the looks of these. I just think they're stunning. Plus, they're only about 14 inches across, which is really nice if you have a slightly smaller space. Now, the cabinet can be, the one you see here is in kind of a brownish gray uh, ash veneer. They also offer the ebony mocha, which as you see looks like a two-tone caramel, a uh, standard caramel and almost a burnt caramel, which at first it looks a little intense, but I'll tell you what, you warm up to it real quick and it becomes a real stunner. And then finally the piano black gloss. So, you know, you've got your choices there. On top, there's plenty of ventilation. Now normally, uh, I would stack the amplifier on top because it would create more heat, but for visualization of the video, I put the uh, preamp on top. So how does the pre-DAC DAC section perform? For a built-in unit, it does very nicely for itself. I'm going to tell you that right off the bat. It has uh, a natural tone. Um, it doesn't compare to an off-board unit such as my Sim Audio 230 had. And for most of the people who are buying separates in this price range, and they see a built-in DAC, they're going to use it. And so I think for most everybody, they're gonna be satisfied with it. Um, it fleshes out things respectfully. Um, it does a tad round of the edge, so it doesn't, it doesn't lean way over. It kind of stays back a bit, and that's okay, because once again, it's pleasant to listen to. The phono section, it works just fine, especially if you're an occasional vinyl listener. Now, if you listen to vinyl every single day, you probably consider going into a separate preamplifier. But for those of you like myself who are once a week vinyl people, 
you can be perfectly content with what this has to offer. The Predact does a nice job in both the digital and the phono analog sections. And don't forget, it does have that HD bypass, as I mentioned previously. So you have opportunities there to play with this in a multimedia style setup in some form. So what about the sound? Well, it's sound solid state. The GAN 400 truly makes your ears feel like you're listening to solid state equipment. Very clean solid state equipment. And you know what? That's the next evolution people have been hoping for with Class D. At least I think so. And other people that I've listened to or read online, they feel the same way. So this is, this to me is a jump. It is a nice jump. Now, there's other people out there in the industry who are fantastic Class D engineers, and they'll tell you they've got other ways of doing it, and you know what? They're probably right. But this GANFET technology, matching up with it, you know, I like how it sounds. I really do. I like it if you go with the Lumineers. You know, they're a very organic sounding band. There's not a lot of over processing and so forth. Um, just really, they're, they're just fun to listen to. When you listen to a record and then if you hear one of their live recordings, there isn't much difference. And the reason why it isn't over processed. The GAN 400 really takes that into account and gives you that kind of experience. And that's what you want. Um, male vocals across the board, whether it's country, um, rock doesn't matter it just it, it gives off a really nice presentation and you don't hear any brittleness anywhere and you know that to me is just a great way to go um, for example um, you can listen to some of the old classics um you know roger daltrey of the who yeah i'm a big who fan so it is just the schnitz um you listen to uh Led Zeppelin. I gotta tell you, Led Zeppelin 4 with this combo and the LSA Signature 80s was a whole lot of fun. A little too much fun for my wife. She actually went someplace else. She couldn't handle it anymore. But I sure did have a good time. Um, Louis Armstrong in jazz. You get to hear that Louis voice. You know, that, that, that little bit of gravel, but it's at a higher uh, pitch. It's not a house sound that you get with peach tree. It's the music speaking through. And for all those who missed the 70s and 80s equipment that had house sound, you know, those have changed. And mostly it's due to the, you know, to the type of componentry used on the inside. People are starting to know what is best and they're gravitating towards that. So you don't get that uniqueness that you used to. If you're going to uh, classical, you know, um, Gustav Holtz, The Planets. Man, this is a fun album to listen to with these components. Just sit back and just experience that you're at a planetarium. And thinking about the travels around all the planets and the idea behind it that Holtz created that symphony. And you will really appreciate it. So what's the overall experience with the Peachtree Predac and GAN 400? It is simple, it is clean, and it is enjoyable. It's the type of gear that over the past 16 months now that I've had it, has never failed, has never given me a hiccup. It is just played music. And this was set up in my family room. Now I have a living room system, a family room system, and then here in my listening room. When my wife and I are out in the family room, this is what played. And it was just perfectly relaxing to us. You know, it, it didn't get in the way of the music we were allowed to enjoy the music. And that's what you want to do once again, is to be able to escape into the music. The 
Peachtree Predac and GAN 400 give you just that. For $4,500, when it's not on sale, this is a good value. When Peachtree has their sales and the prices go down for the pair, it becomes a real bargain. For separates that are beefy, that are reliable, and then basically you can put them on a shelf and sit back and do your thing and just listen. This is a great way to go. So until next time, take care.